Hi, Daryl Crow here. It's Monday morning. It's time to answer your question. And I'm here with Joe to help me out. Hi, Joe. Hi, Daryl Hoy. Well, what's the first question we have today from one of our students? All right, this is a good one. It's a, to deal with seascapes, it's a, Hi, Daryl. I live in Rhode Island along the coast, and I've been painting seascapes. I'm struggling with composing a seascape with a variety of waves in one painting. Do you have any suggestions as to how to choose how many are too many? And well, that's from Helen. Okay, um, so basically, if whenever we compose uh, a seascape, we have the big wave that's up front, and we have waves and succeeding waves all the way out to the horizon. So the question is, is what's the proper number? Well, you know, Helen, the answer is not in the numbers, but in the distance and how you can paint that. And the best way to answer your question is to show you exactly what I mean. So let's head on down to the canvas. What we have here is horizon. We'll just call this the sky, and this is the sea. And in this particular case, there's no beach. So this is uh, how you would get more waves, if you will. Now, the first rule of thumb is from either the beach or from the bottom of the canvas up to here, you want to go halfway. So you just say, well, what's halfway? Well, that's probably right there. So we'll just go ahead and put in the first wave right there. The second wave will be halfway between this mark and the horizon, or between the first wave and the horizon. So there's your second wave, and it continues that way. There's your third wave. Here would be your fourth wave, and your fifth wave, your sixth wave. And it gets to the point that on this particular canvas size, yeah, you could get one, two, three good waves, and if you were really good, a fourth wave. Now, they should diminish in size, okay? Not only because uh, you have less room to work with, but as these waves are appearing in the distance towards the horizon, they're not as big as when they're um, closer to the shore because of the way of the uh, energy pulls that are occurring as the wave travels towards land. Now, I can get a lot into that. In some of my basic uh, seascape techniques uh, videos, I do get into that quite a bit. But for right now, in fact, we spend a whole DVD on the basic seascapes in which we define what happens under the surface that causes all of these waves. But for right now, I think the main thing to realize is you, on most canvases, you can get about three to four waves. But as you can see there, it's not a matter of uh, how many you can put in this, but it matters the space you have to work with. And of course, once you get into such a small space like this, you just simply do not have the space to do any uh, uh, waves back there. So I think that'll pretty much uh, help you out. Helen? I know there are a lot more questions out there. There's questions on how do I use my tools, how do I uh, mix paint, care for things, and how do I do specific things, or I want to do a house, or I want to do uh, jewelry on someone's uh, wrist. There's a thousand questions. I want you to send me the question that you have that's stopping you from creating the masterpiece you want. I'll send you a gift for every question. Even if we use the question that someone else has had, asked it and you were unaware of that, we'll answer your questions and we'll send you a nice gift as our way of saying thank you.